Well, good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us here at the intersection of faith and culture. This is the Meeting House on Faith Radio. And joining me here at the Faith Radio studios, we have Christian musical artist, singer-songwriter Matt Heibarger. And Matt is stopping through. Actually, you've made a little bit of a Southern tour. You live in Texas, but you've been spending some time here as of late in Mississippi and Alabama, Georgia, and a little bit of South Carolina. So it's great to have Faith Radio on your itinerary. So thanks for, <laughs> for dropping by. Good to catch up with you. That's great to be here, Bob. I, I am a big, big fan of Faith Radio. Matter of fact, myself and Scott Crepain both are big fans <laughs> <laughs> of the Meeting House, for sure. Well, there was a song, in fact, we're going to be hearing it performed here in the studio in the next few minutes called Purpose in the Pain that you and Scott collaborated on. Yeah, we wrote it. We wrote three songs together. Well, we wrote two songs together. We worked on three together. We wrote you Are Here, of course, which y'all played here also. And Scott and I wrote that. Uh, Scott wrote the music, I wrote the words, and we sang together on it. And then we wrote another one called I Turn to You, which will be out first part of next year. Um, I think in January of 2017, it'll finally be out. And uh, then Purpose in the Pain, I wrote myself. And while Scott was working on You Are Here, he went ahead and did the vocals, the backgrounds, the harmonies on Purpose in the Pain. He said he really liked it. I wanted him to do the music on it, and he said it didn't need to do the music on that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got one right. <laughs> and so these were were basically, as you might say, standalone. What would what would you say, singles, digital singles, and things of that sort? Nowadays, you know, in the old days, you would have the the vinyl record albums, or you would have the CDs, or whatever the case may be. Now you can release one song at a time, two, three, five, exactly as many as you want to release as often as you would want to release it. I think that you know. It, Especially when you're an independent artist, uh, or you're from a, a small label, a vanity label, if you will, uh, unless you're backed by a, a big label, which I personally have no interest in being. I actually got approached by somebody the other day, and after I read through the contract, I said, no, I'd kind of like to keep my own hands <laughs> on my own ministry. Um, but singles, as you said, that's the way it goes. It's all about singles. It's about digital stuff. It's about uh, what you can download. And I probably, you know, unless the Lord says otherwise, I probably won't ever do another full album. I just do EPs. I'll do like five songs, but then I'll have singles in between. Uh, of course, the, the only full album I've ever done is When Life Gets Broken back in 2009. I can't believe that's been seven years ago. Wow. Uh, but then um, we've got one coming out. This one here is going to be called Hope. It's going to have it's going to have three full-on Christmas songs and then a couple of other songs that are kind of tweeners. They they're, they talk about Christmas, but they really uh, reflect what's going on uh, today and what God's doing today. Yeah, the title track of this album, <clears throat> if you could call it a title track, right. is such a song. Yeah, it's called Hope in the Middle of the Night. And uh, just talks about how, you know, the Bible talks about that in the last days there's going to be a great darkness that's going to overtake the world. and uh, But yet we're called to be light. And when you get into that darkness, you understand. I don't know how many of you have ever been into a, I guess, like a coal mine or anything deep. We have these caverns in Texas uh, called the Interspace Caverns. And you walk way down. You're like a you know, mile underground. And when they turn the lights off, you can't see anything. I mean, nothing. And you can't tell up from down, left from right. You know, pilots, when they're flying without their instrumentation, when it's really dark, they don't even know if they're flying upside down if it wasn't for the instruments. And so we're to be a light, and the Bible is our instrument that keeps us going the right direction. And we live in an age where, you know, people are calling right, wrong, mm -hmm. and wrong, right. Yep. And uh, yet, in the middle of that night, we still have hope because of Christ. Well, Matt, I think this, as we're talking about this song, if you are game, this gives our listeners an opportunity to hear a song from this forthcoming, you could call it a Christmas record, Christmas album, that features this song, Hope in the Middle of the Night, as well as some other Christmas tracks. That's right, it's July, but we're going to do a little Christmas in July this afternoon here on The Meeting House on Faith Radio. So uh, let's go ahead, uh, Hope in the Middle of the Night. It's Matt Heibarger in the Faith Radio studios here on Faith Radio in the Meeting House this afternoon. So hard to imagine what it must have been like The scene as it unfolded on that first Christmas night Carpenter, a teenage girl with a baby on the way. So tired and far from home, no place to stay. I wish I could have been there to hear the angels sing. 
Songs of praise and honor to that baby born the king. The word wrapped up in swaddling clothes beneath that star so bright. Hope was born in the middle of the night. Cause Christ was born in the middle of the night. And we sing glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth, goodwill to every one. Crowned with glory, completely holy. Emmanuel, the King of Kings, had come. In the middle of the night, a hope had come. More than two thousand years since that silent holy night. We're living in the days where down is up and wrong is right. And though it seems the darkness might overcome the light, there's still hope in the middle of the night you can still find hope in the middle of the night so we sing glory to God in the highest peace on earth goodwill to every one crowned with glory Completely holy One day soon The King of Kings will come In the middle of the night Our hope will come Not as a tiny baby Laying in a manger stall But breaking through the clouds We'll see the risen Lord of all And we'll sing glory to God in the highest Peace on earth, goodwill to every one Crowned with glory, completely holy On that day the King of Kings will come like a thief in the night, a hope will come. A hope is Jesus. Matt Heibarger joining us this afternoon here on the Meeting House on Faith Radio. And Matt, that song, Hope in the Middle of the Night, not only does it have that Christmas element, of course, the baby born in Bethlehem, Jesus came to be the hope for all the world that people would come to know him. And it really does communicate a sense of lasting hope that people can have in Jesus. And in these days, that's certain that's something we certainly need to really keep in mind. Well, I feel like that part of the problem with our world is people have lost their hope. Yep. And it's because they've placed it in the wrong people and things and whatever you know the bible says it's christ in you and me is the hope of glory and he is still in the no matter how dark it gets just think about when it gets really really dark it takes even less light to make a difference and so if we would all come together as believers and let our light shine we can we can shatter the darkness there's some tough days coming on the world the bible makes that clear but just like when stuff was happening to egypt in the land of goshen Hey Amen. God's people were protected. They were blessed. And I believe God's going to, for us for, who are faithful, God's going to keep his hand on us. We're going to be all right. Well, Matt, you have a Christmas album forthcoming. It's called Hope, Hope in the Middle of the Night, the song that we just heard you sing here in the studio. This was actually, <laughs> Matt, on the microphone, and we we had, was that you playing the, the piano? We, of course, had the, the recording of the piano in the background, but I, was yeah, that you? Now that tra- yeah, that track is going to be the full track. It's got uh, orchestra on it. It's going to be big. It's going to have a choir. Wow. It's going to be one of those songs that you know really hits. But, but yeah, that's just an acoustic piano track, and uh, it's a lot of fun to play. And you know, it's one of those things. When I write these songs, I, when you write with guys like Scott Payne and Michael O'Brien and Reggie Ham, these genius musicians, you know, <laughs> uh, 
I don't consider myself a genius musician. I think I write some pretty good lyrics, you know. Uh, but I've gotten really, I don't want to say lucky because it's a God thing, but I've been really blessed with some of the actual melodies I've written, Run to His Arms and Purpose into Pain and, and this one. Uh, you know, it's, I, don't, I just don't have to do it all the time. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're kind of in this Christmas in July mode, talking about the Christmas record. So let's, if, if our listeners might want to get a little Christmas mm-hmm. spirit, of course, these are some pretty warm days that we've been experiencing across Central and South Alabama. So let's treat our listeners to a little Christmas in July. How about uh, maybe a little Jingle Bell Rock for us? This little, afternoon? little Christmas rock. Christmas rock. Here oh, yeah. we go. Matt Heibarger in the studio on Faith Radio. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing, the bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime in, jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in Jingle Bell Square In the frosty air We want a bright time, it's the right time To rock the night away Jingle Bell time is a swell time To go riding in a one-horse swing Giddy up, Jingle Horse, pick up the feet And jingle around the clock Mix and mingle in a jingling beat That's the Jingle Bell Ride Play it, Bob. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. A jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet and jingle around the clock. Mix and mingle in a jingling beat. That's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell. That's the Jingle Bell Rock Oh yeah Well the weather outside is frightful But the fire is so delightful And since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow It doesn't show signs of stopping But I brought some corn for popping The lights are turned away down low let it snow, let it snow, let it snow When we finally kiss goodnight, hi Beth I hate going out in the storm If you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm The fire is slowly dying And my dear will still get by As long as you love me so Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow as long as you love me so Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You may get a sentimental feeling when you hear a voice is singing, let's be jolly deck. The halls with boughs of holly rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in a new old-fashioned way You will get a sentimental feeling When you hear a voice is singing Let's be jolly deck The halls with boughs of holly Whoa. Rocking around the Christmas tree Have a happy holiday Everyone dancing merrily in a new Oh, fashion way And that is none other than Matt Highbarger in the studio here at Faith Radio with some Christmas rock. And you might say you've got all those background vocals, the, the trumpet, the guitar, <laughs> all of that just 
brought it with you here. Kind of filled the studio. So it's, a, it's, a t- it's <laughs> tight a, here, man. That's, that's <laughs> no, nice track. That's uh, that is very cool. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. You know, it's uh, some people go, well, uh, how come you're not singing about Jesus? I I always sing about Jesus. You know, Christmas is about Jesus, and I really believe that the Lord wants us to think about songs like that and how they put a smile on your face. There is not a better testimony than having a smile. But what are you smiling about? Well, I, I love Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And and I, I noticed you sent out a little greeting to your wife in the middle of the Let It Snow portion. That nicely well, yeah. done there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, she likes to you know, she likes to know I'm thinking about her. And you know I do. When I think about songs like that, I'm thinking about my beautiful wife Beth. That's awesome. And I could actually sing that song because my wife's name is Beth as well. Absolutely. And we love Christmas. Yes. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> so, t- so tell me, as, as we talk about you're married, you have kids, uh, talk about your family. Let's see here. Okay, let me give you a break. I'm married, married, of course, to Beth, who I do a lot of singing with. She is a, man, she's a fan. She's way better than me. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, she's so gifted that she knows how to sing parts. She knows all these different things. She's in a, a, a chorus. It's called the Rich Tone Chorus. It's ladies, uh, barbershop, basically. Uh, Sweet Adeline. Nice. They're the five-time international champion. And she's one of the featured singers and does all the choreography and stuff. And she's amazing. And uh, I've included her more and more in the concerts I do, especially locally. She's also a school teacher. So it means that I get to travel by myself a lot. But wow. And then, let's see, our oldest son, Chris, is a Marine. He's stationed at Miramar. Uh, let's see. He's 23, about to be 24. Then we have um, Micah, who's 21. He is uh, he's there with us. He's going to college. He made the president's list. Thank you very much. And he is uh, a leader. Drum roll. Straight A's. That's right. Awesome. Well, I've, I've got two of them that do that. My <laughs> daughter, Caitlin, too, first year at University of North Texas, uh, Well, she's so smart. She's such a bookworm that she actually, when she graduated high school, she had almost a whole year done. So she's basically uh, just turned 19, about to start her junior year. So she's one of those exceptional and beautiful uh, young ladies. Uh, Joseph, her brother, also 19, he is... Uh, serves as a leader, so is Micah in, in their youth group. Uh, fantastic, very proud of them, amazing young men. Um, he's also in college. And then Ryan is our, about to be a uh, senior in high school, baby boy, 17, uh, six foot three, about 235 pounds. Uh, I got a lot of big kids, except my daughter. <laughs> And uh, the last time you were here, your one of your sons was actually with you. I was trying to think, of was, was it the big one or the medium-sized one? <laughs> I think it may have been... I, I'm thinking medium. I okay, could be wrong. It, it was, it, I think it was Micah. Yeah, Micah is... Uh, he's also a musician. He's actually, when I get this, this album out, this many, uh, we did a cover together of the Creed song, Higher. And uh, we actually... I did a little lyrical tweaking there, too, because I remember... Uh, Scott Stapp talking about it being lucid dreaming. Well, of course, when you're raised in a Christian home and you start talking about things, that's not lucid dreaming. You're talking about visions of heaven, and we all know it is, and God wants us to take that that step higher. And uh, so Mike and I do that, and he's also, we're actually working on some songs for him. Uh, so when I do my Summer Palooza tour next year, uh, I'll have him with me. Summer Palooza. Summer Palooza. <laughs> that's kind of become an annual event for you. Yes, it's the third year, and it's, it's it started off just as a joke. You know, Summer Palooza, <laughs> but it's amazing. It's my most uh, it's my most requested uh, deal. We we do all kinds of stuff, man. We do we do uh, like DeKalb, Illinois Fourth of July festival a couple of years ago. All these outdoor things that they're not necessarily church related, and so that's where songs like Desperado and doing things like that give you an opportunity when you change the lyrics to come in and people get people listening. And then you lay the word on them right in the middle of that song. They think they know. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk about this. We'll we'll pause for a moment to talk about the song Desperado. Of course, okay. that is the Eagles' mega hit. Right. And you've actually recorded that song, but you've placed a, a bit of a Christian <laughs> perspective on it. Is that a, a correct assessment there? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of my favorite songs. I mean, it's a classic. And uh, you know, I used to sing it. Matter of fact, the first time I ever sung it was uh, two years ago, Summer Palooza, the, the inaugural Summer Palooza, at the Fourth <laughs> of July Festival there in DeKalb, Illinois. And it's about, you know, it's a song about someone that's on the run. My pastor, Daryl Baker, put together a video, which you can find on my website at madhighbarger.com, where he took some footage from a documentary about the James Gang in the Old West and, and took my song Desperado and made this this video it's really cool and when i do concerts i have that video i can do the song to but i just basically talked about there's a, a line there that says 
don't you draw the queen of diamonds, boy. She'll beat you when she's able. My thing is, you know, the king of kings is always your best bet. And things like that. And uh, com- it talks about uh, coming home to Jesus rather than, uh, you know, just coming through the gate, coming home to the Lord. Instead of let instead of just let somebody love you, you need to know that Jesus loves you before it's too late. And it's got a, a very much of a... It draws people. It's very simplistic, but those tweaks make it mm. make it very powerful for people that are hearing it. And then we decided when Glenn Fry passed away, uh, you know, obviously you see someone that you don't know, their relationship with the Lord, and, you know, it just makes you even keener about, man, people need to hear about the Lord. And so we took that and did it, and a friend of mine released it out there as a single. They took a vocal I'd done at our church live and placed it on a track and put it out there. And a friend of mine, Johnny Rowlett, who is a fantastic Christian country artist, got it out there played and it actually hit number one on some of the country Christian country charts, and with no promotion at all, uh, just because people knew the song. So it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. Well, let's go with another uh, song from the album Hope, the forthcoming Christmas record. This is a song that people will be, well, it will be familiar to, I would say, the large majority of our listening audience. This is one of those Christmas standards. Of course, I I guess it was Burl Ives in the Mm -hmm. classic Rudolph television program doing Holly Jolly Christmas. And Matt Heibarger has it for us right now in the studio. Matt performing for us here on The Meeting House this afternoon on Faith Radio and faithradio.org. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Well, I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know, bless everyone you meet. Oh, hold the mistletoe hung where you can see. Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me Have a holly jolly Christmas And in case you didn't hear Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas This year Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year Well, I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know, bless everyone you meet. Oh, hold the mistletoe hung where you can see. Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me Have a holly jolly Christmas And in case you didn't hear Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas This Well, you're listening to The Meeting House here on Faith Radio. Matt Heibarger in for a visit here at Faith Radio this afternoon. We've been talking a bit of Christmas music here and that Hope album coming out. want to revert just a bit. We uh, talked earlier, you alluded to the album When Life Gets Broken, which was one of those really groundbreaking projects. These are songs that you either co-wrote or wrote for the most part. And you pulled in a number of guest artists into this project. So I want to ask you two questions about it, because I think it's it's something that's very important. Number one, When Life Gets Broken, that is the, the title of the project. There is a song that corresponds to it. You you actually, you do not sing on it. You, <laughs> no. <laughs> Michael O'Brien sang it on the project. And Russ Lee. And, okay, Michael and Russ sang it. Uh, Sandy Patty has also recorded it. So... Uh, this was from an album that really had a purpose, a message that you wanted to communicate through it. Talk about that, if you would. 
Well, you know, it doesn't take much. You look at the tragedy we had in Dallas, what happened in Baton Rouge. There, I mean, there's tragedy everywhere. Mm, there's all these yeah. things. And then when you add on top of there, there's there's divorce and there's all these, these hurtful, painful things that people go through. And we're believers, you know. And, and I realize there's guys on TV that will tell you that once you become a Christian, you know, nothing bad will ever happen again. <laughs> but I think that's a bit disingenuous, you know, because Jesus himself said in John 16, 33, in this world you will have many trials and mm. sorrows, but. Be of good cheer, for I've overcome the world. And I, that was the message of that. I wanted to do it. It was a sermon series. And I based it on originally on four songs. Picking up the pieces, the Archer's classic from the 70s, uh, because when life gets broken, Jesus is picking up the pieces of our lives. Somebody Cares, which was a Michael O'Brien remake of his song, uh, because Somebody Cares, his name is Jesus. And then Run to His Arms. We need to run mm-hmm. to his arms, because that's where our safety is, where our hope is. That was a song that I wrote. And then uh, finally, why, why don't we do that? Because we don't think we're worthy. We think we're too far gone because we don't see ourselves through his eyes of love, which was the Steve Archer. And so we remade those, and we went to Nashville, did the studio thing, brought in Alan Asbury and Michael and myself and Steve Archer and Ken Egger, and we were there. And then I started having vocal issues, kind of like I'm having today, except much worse. And uh, I wasn't able to sing on all the songs. Well, being a pastor and facilitating i think you know if i can't do it i'll find somebody better than me to do it so there i i bring we bring in uh russ lee we bring in clay cross we bring in the katinas and i see you guys still play the blessed assurance this is my story absolutely very nice yeah uh then we did some stuff with david and the giants and kelly huff and pretty soon i have this this (laughs) this album this various artist thing uh and i only ended up singing actually four songs on that album i did some background vocals and things like that but i mean my my voice just stopped you know i i was preaching like this for a long time because i didn't have any other voice you know and you can preach like that you just can't sing like that very well and uh so that's that was what we did and and then the song was so powerful that the message went out and that's when i met you because i think wendell gafford came and told you about the song and you picked the song up and the song became a top 10 song and then as you said sandy recorded it and if you want to hear a really great version if you go on youtube there's versions with uh, sandy and heather Payne. there's also sandy and natalie grant singing it hmm. and there's one on a cruise ship that's just fantastic it's just power and that song, if you if you look it up, I love doing this. You look it up on YouTube. Remember, this is this is from a church of less than a hundred people in the middle of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. All around the world, people have sung that song. Now, there's videos of people singing it in all these different countries, and it's just amazing how that message that God gave a pastor in a little small church and how it's gone around the world. That's the incredible power of, of the Word of God. Well, and again, we were talking about hope earlier when exactly. life gets broken, and when you know you can fill in the blank with all sorts of scriptural principles, but that really tells us that right. God is with us in those times when life gets broken. He is the one that can give us strength in the midst of our trials. He is the one whom we can turn to to repair the brokenness. He is the one who will sustain us in our brokenness. Well, you know what? Everyone at some point, all of us, are going to have to be broken. It's hmm. just going to happen because we were marred by sin, and it's not until we reach that broken place, you know, that the healing takes place. And then God can mold us into what he wants us to be. And that's why people that have fallen and, and, and done things and like that, and then they've repented and given their lives back to the Lord, there's more of an anointing and more power on their ministry today than there was before. And, you know, I'm sure you know, the Lord never wanted it to happen. They never did. But w- those broken times, mm. you know, it's like all the, all the junk can come off of you when the heat gets turned on in your life. And, and there's always a purpose in your pain. God will make a purpose because he promised us in Romans that there's nothing, there's nothing that, that's going to happen to us if we love God and call according to his purpose that he's not going to work together for our good. Mm. Well, Matt Heibarger is joining us here in the studio. And as we close out our conversation today, Matt has actually been singing some songs for us. And I want to go back to a song called Purpose in the Pain. Now, this is a song that you wrote, mm-hmm. and Scott Crepain performs the vocals yes. with you. So yes. uh, tell us about the inspiration for it. I'm kind of themed like this. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm always wanting to provide hope for people. I guess you know I, I was as a kid I was told I was an encourager, and I want to encourage people <laughs> when they're hurting, <clears throat> don't give up. You know, and even when you go through stuff, there's a purpose in your pain, because 
God has said that he disciplines those he loves, that Christ himself learned obedience to the things he suffered. So there's a purpose. God will make something good out of what the devil means for evil. God will turn it into good. And I wrote this song, and, and I really liked the lyrics. And, and the melody I wasn't all that sold on, so I reached out to my normal cohorts, and they were all busy. And Scott says, dude, this, this melody is great. It fits the song perfectly. I said, well, thanks, man. I didn't know he was going to go ahead and throw down background vocals on there. And it was a real <laughs> blessing. Well, in studio... Matt Heibarger joining us today with Purpose in the Pain here on The Meeting House on Faith Radio and faithradio.org. Some days are warm with sunshine Some are cold with clouds and rain Some nights are filled with singing Others crying out your name No matter what the circumstance Your faithfulness remains Even when it's dark and I can't see The purpose in the pain Sometimes I'm walking on the water Before sinking unbelief Start the morning on the mountaintop Then I'm buried underneath But when I feel forsaken Wanna hang my head in shame so Sitting here alone still trying to see Purpose in the pain There's a peace that passes all understanding Though at times it's hard that peace be still A calm assurance that only comes from knowing That the one who made the heavens Still reigns and always will So I will trust in you, Lord With all my heart, my soul, and mind Though the answers to my questions are still few and hard to find I take my strength from knowing you will always be the same And standing on your word I finally see Purpose in the pain The purpose in the pain Lord, I can see The purpose in the pain It's in the pain In the studios of Faith Radio, a visit with Matt Heibarger here on The Meeting House. And Matt, if people want to connect with you and find out more information about you, what you're up to, your music and the like, how can they find you online? You can find me at www.mattheibarger.com. Uh, or just for fun, look me up on Facebook. Uh, it's Matt Avery Heibarger there. Uh, I put Avery in there, <laughs> which is my middle name, uh, because there's some other Matt Heibargers, believe it or not. And Really? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Because everybody mispronounces Heibarger. <laughs> So uh, we're actually going to do a deal with Steve Archer and Ken Egger. We do this little Phillips, Craig, and Dean thing, and we're going to call ourselves Archer, Egger, and Avery. Ah, so uh, okay, it flows better than High Barger. <laughs> well, and you, and what's amazing, of course, the names of a number of these 
classic Christian artists that you've had the, the privilege of working with throughout the years. And it's great to hear that you're staying in touch with people like Steve Archer. I know that you and, and Steve and I believe Susan Ashton have been talking about doing some work together. You mentioned Alan Asbury earlier and, and some of these other folks, Scott Crepain, that, that you communicate with on a regular basis. And it's just great to hear these names of people that, that God is using in a profound way. You know, it, these guys are worth finding because let me tell you something. One of the things I love, Bob, about Faith Radio is I love your playlist that y'all do here. I, I appreciate so much the fact that, that you're willing to play songs that, you know, I, don't have to be big label songs. You're looking for what the content of the song is and everything else. But then I listen a lot online. I listen to you in the <laughs> afternoons. And Scott and I'm I listen. Frightened. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> Steve, Steve Archer listens too because the other night I saw you guys had an Archer's thing going. And he got on there, and his brother Tim got on there, and his sister Janice. And they were listening on there. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So wow, that's awesome. And, and, and <laughs> they, they do an old they do an old dudes thing of CCM. They do like a breakfast once a month or every six weeks in Nashville. And so you're talking about guys like you know Stonehill and Rick Kua and Morgan Cryer and all these guys from back, Bob Farrell and all these guys. And so I let them know that you know Faith Radio plays their songs. Uh, Scott Bless Wesley you. Brown, all those guys, and they, they love it, man. Man, that is awesome. Well, kudos to our general manager, Russell Dean, who hosts <laughs> Evening Praise, which incorporates classic Christian music every night, Monday through Friday, from 8 o'clock until midnight, Saturdays from 8 until 10. And, hey, a shout-out to Steve Archer <laughs> and perhaps Scott Crepain and some of these other guys that might be tuned in to us Absolutely. this afternoon that might be listening to their friend Matt. <laughs> on the radio. Right. Oh, they're all going to know about it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Matt Heibarger joining us today here on The Meeting House on Faith Radio and faithradio.org. Matt, man, it's been a blast. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bob.